got to be like 500 plus elk just running around. It's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Getting in the outdoors and unplugging is super important to me. I'm, you know, one of the busiest individuals you'll probably ever meet. I think we're a lot busier than say our parents were or our grandparents. We're all attached to our phones. I can actually breathe, I can take a deep breath, I can enjoy nature and to have no people, no traffic. And just look at nature is like, it is honestly like the most rewarding, uh, relaxing experience I can uh, ever imagine. I'm Matt Pittman from Waxahachie, Texas. I'm the pit master and owner of Meat Church Barbecue. Teaching is kind of what I'm passionate about, so this is what I, no matter what you see us do, this is what I live to do. What I do is about wood, meat, fire, the simplicity of it. Um, Basically, my goal is to just show everybody in the world a very simplistic and straightforward way to get outside and cook and make amazing barbecue uh, for your family. My way is not the appropriate way, the right way, the only way. I don't think my way is better than your way. Uh, it's been like a crazy, amazing ride. There's a natural connection between hunting and then what I do as far as cooking. So I'm a big believer in full utilization and respect of anything that you harvest. Just sneak up a little bit more. We got up fairly close, not close enough to take a shot or anything like that, but it was super exciting. So it was like a pretty awesome first day. You know, we're at a gorgeous ranch that's known for big, mature bulls. And when you're on this type of hunt, you're obviously, you know, going to be going after those. I mean, why, why wouldn't you, right? But I'm here to take meat home and to fill my freezer, uh, to write new recipes, to share with the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation community. We we'll call it grocery shopping for the meat guy, but, um, you know, we're here to fill the freezer. So I teach outdoor cooking and you know, I look at my students and I say, I would love it if you knew your rancher or knew where your beef came from. I want to know, have they had hormones or antibiotics? Um, you know, I want to know what it was fed and all of that makes a difference in the taste. 
And I just think it's super important to know where your meat comes from, uh, kind of what you're putting in your diet. The weather this week has been crazy. Monday started our hunt at a high 94, and we got down to a low of 22. We were hoping the rut would start, and it looks like it's finally kicking off. Listening by the sounds, I think it's safe to say that it runs on. I mean, it's just like non-stop scream all night. It's unbelievable. They're just firing off non-stop. The craziest thing I've ever seen in my hunting life. I don't know that I'll ever get to see what I witnessed in the rest of my hunting career. When I'm able to get outside and to hunt, you know, I always say it's more about the story than the ending. You know, I don't see sites like this where I live. I'm, I live in a big city, hustle and bustle all the time. So to get out here is honestly like the most rewarding, uh, relaxing experience I can uh, ever imagine.